So I overclocked my GTX 560 Ti and um, had quite a good overclock. 975 on the core, 2400 on the memory, voltage 1.15 volts, and I kept it up for quite a while. And I did some playing around last night. Gave me a 3D mark of 7460. And I thought, great. Play around with it a bit. I couldn't get any higher. Well, I could, but the score went down. So I thought, well, if I'm getting higher and the score's going down, what happens if I take the overclock down? So I took it down to 950, 2300, which was great. Got a higher score. And I thought, well, I'm taking it down. Could I take the voltage down? And that's when things changed. Took the voltage down to 1.05. When I did that, the score went up to 7,706. Anyway, so then I'm thinking along these lines. Take the voltage down, take the clocks down, scores going up. So I did it again. Took the clocks down to 900. The memory to 2250. And I got a decent score, and I thought, well, took the clocks down, can I take the voltage down? You know, reduce heat, reduce my electric bill. So I took, ended up coming up with this 1.025 on the volts, 900 on the core, which is down 75, 2250 on the memory, down from 2400. And my score shot up from 7460 to 7906. So basically there I discovered that if you take your voltage down on this card, your score shoots up for some reason. It wasn't just to do with the clocks, because you see these clocks, 92250. I tested with them at different voltages. High voltages with these clocks, I got a low score. My score shot up as my voltage went down, so it was directly linked to the voltage. Voltage lowered, score up, and I got to 1.025. I did test with one volt and 0.96, it froze at 0.96 volts. It would manage okay at one volt. But again, with only one volt, my score went down, so I think it was lacking in voltage. This was my sweet spot. 1.025, 900 on the core, 2250 on the memory clock. I did lots of benchmarks, not just this one. And I mean, here's the, um, here's the um, pictures. I started off with 975. And I got sad to see, but that's the 7461. Then I went to 950 and 2300, and that's the 7706. Then I went to this one, which was the best one I got 7906. Very hard to see with this camera. That's the MSI afterburner I used to adjust the voltage and the clocks. Now, use MSI afterburner, and when you're finished, when you've got you, you know your good result and everything, then what to do is flash your BIOS. I'll do a video on how to flash your BIOS um, after this one. So, people out there with these cards. It's not all about high clocks and high voltage like we told because I had high clocks and high voltage and I thought I had the best overclock possible. I was out there, you know, kicking some ass in my games and stuff. And it's only when I actually look at the benchmarks and did a bit of playing about, I realised taking my clocks down, that helped a bit. But what really helped was the voltage. Get your voltage down. A cooler card is a faster card. And that's, you know, my two pence worth. Maybe different if you're water cooling. You know, water cooling keeps your card cool. I've got lots of cooling in my case, but this still worked for me. So try reducing your voltage. Play about. The program you want to use is MSI.
Akte Bälle. Okay, thanks.